Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. It is 7.30, it is bright out. Um, we're expecting a snowstorm tonight, probably 14 inches, they said, which we already probably have six to seven inches outside. So we're gonna have a lot of snow. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe because I know so many are getting storms. But uh, today starts a week of vlogs. We're gonna do it Vlogmas style. You're gonna get my Monday on your Monday and we're just going to update you and connect and catch up. I was shooting for two videos a week and then life happened the last couple weeks. I'm really just trying to get through the month of February. I've been feeling a lot of feelings. Uh, but I thought if I do Monday through Friday, I pretty much catch up on all the videos that I wanna catch up on um, and that I missed. So I'm happy to be back, I'm happy to have the camera, but I also know that with my word being balanced this year, that I need to honor some space for myself. But you guys are always a priority, this channel is my priority. And although I've not been on YouTube, I've been doing a ton of stuff over on Instagram. And in this vlog, I'm gonna catch you up, but you should definitely head over there. And just as a reminder, as I talk and share about things, I always leave everything linked down below. So if you're new here, you can go check that out. I'm probably gonna share some things in the pantry and around the house. And while I'm editing, I'll go back and link things for you. I promise, but I'm gonna get some coffee and get this day started and start catching you up on a couple things around the house. I've missed you all. If you're new here, it's so good to have you and welcome. All right, let's get rolling. It is so good to be back. Like I said, things have just been really crazy and really busy and I've been feeling all the feelings and just needed a little time to get through it. Uh, like I said, I'm still kind of pushing through February. I think on the other end of February, things will feel a lot better, but all has been fine. <laughs> I think that's the word that I would best express it. And I think this year has definitely cracked us all open in way different ways. And what I would say is everyone's in the same storm, but everyone's boat is a little different. And I think no matter how different your boat is, like honor the space for each other and just be kind. I've noticed that all the craziness that we've experienced as a world has brought out so much kindness, but on the flip side of that, it's also brought out so much cruelty and hatred and all those things. But I find the more you look for the good, there's, it's there and there's a lot of it. But it's just harder to see through the messiness. And that's what I'm really trying to do. A quote that's really been sticking with me lately is, joy is the best act of resistance. So really practicing joy, looking for joy, because it's easier when things are challenging to not even bother looking for it and then never see it, but it's happening all around. Really recognizing the small and big wins. I also celebrated a birthday last week and really thinking about what I wanna make this next year of my life and focus on. And one of my goals for this year is to really invest time and effort into Instagram and YouTube and share ideas. You're going to see a lot of shifting, which a lot of you already have around DIYs and tutorials and things like that. And I'm trying to equalize the content across both platforms, which Instagram, I threw up a picture here and there, but like investing in highlights and reels and filming things. So catch me on both places and I try to do a really good job of reading every comment and interacting and I find interacting on Instagram to be a little bit easier. For those over there, you know that I comment back a lot. Uh, we have full-blown conversations and DMs. That's really important to me and something I really value. And I find it like an easier platform to navigate just to get to the messages. So that's what's been going on. That's what I'm thinking about. And I'm happy to be back and doing like a little mini vlogmas this week. I'm off from work and I'm just going to enjoy the time that I have and tackle a few little projects here and there. 
Speaking of that, let me take you around the house. I wanna show you the bar card update because the last time we were together, I think I broke the glass in it. So show you where that is. I guess it's a cabinet, not a cart. And then I will show you the pantry and all those things. And like I said, as I talk about things, when I'm editing this, I'll leave them linked below. And if you are new here and there's been a lot of new people lately, <laughs> welcome. I hope that you leave every video that we watch learning something and maybe feeling brave enough to try something new. And guess what? If you make a mistake or you don't like it, just like in life, all things are fixable. It just takes a little time. All right, let's hop around this house and see what's up. Bubba's is doing well. He is just chilling. Hey, you say good morning to everyone. We say good morning, sunshine. Good morning. He's doing fabulous. He's just relaxing, but all the things. What do I want to catch you up on first thing this morning? Oh, I know what we'll catch up on. I got some new Goodwill finds. Like I said, a lot of my accessories come from Goodwill. I got to show you some of these really great things I discovered. So I went last weekend and I found this beautiful stoneware bowl. I had some white vases in here and I knew I wanted to change out the color and then check out this crock that I found. It is so beautiful. It reminds me of something that my mom had when I was growing up, but I grabbed that. I think I got a couple more candlesticks. Anything else? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I got this little sugar bowl, which I thought was just precious. And I think, I think that's what I found there the last time I was there. Also wanted to update you guys on the bar cabinet. I just need to tell you, um, a couple weeks ago, probably one of my last videos, is when I had, oh, hold on, let me just light. There we go. I wanna catch you guys up on the bar cabinet. So, if you remember, this used to be in our hallway, and I moved it down here. We finally got a piece of glass cut for it. Steven installed it. And then we added this hardware that matches the buffet. But look how good it is. And then I took my puck lights and I added, now I have them on a timer. But look at that. And at night it looks so beautiful. And I also love that my things aren't getting dusty now. And then this color with that painting, I mean, it literally was meant for the space, but I'm really, really happy with it. If you ever come across an old cabinet, totally think about converting it to a bar cart. I painted the interior black to kind of make it feel a little bit more modern. Took out one of the shelves to fit my taller bottles, but I mean, it's turned out beautifully. There are lots of other little changes around the house that I'll share with you as we go, like the pantry, which I'm super pumped about. But right now, one thing I want to get before the storm hits is I want to paint this door. So I had originally painted our mudroom entry door before I did the board and batten. The board and batten is Cracked Pepper by Bear, but I really want the door to match it. So I'm going to go get some heavy duty Cracked Black Pepper and I want to paint this door this week. So that is on the agenda. All right, I'm going to get ready. We're gonna hit the road so we can take care of everything before this storm hits. All right, friends, so really, really excited. I actually ended up doing another coat on here. It wasn't chipping or anything, but I was like, well, I'm gonna add it. It'll just make it look a little bit cleaner. But now the door will, ma um, the color's a little off because it's wet. However, the door now matches all of this, which makes me way happy. And then for the big house update that has taken place is I redid our pantry. So if you remember, this used to have llama paper. It was a whole vibe and it had wire shelves. So what I've ended up doing is making this 
our pantry. It's not done yet. I'll tell you what is happening. But if you want the whole step-by-step, -step, it is over in my Instagram, saved in highlights. It was a two-week process, but I took cube units and actually built them into the wall. And look how beautiful it turned out. There's also a six and a half foot shelf up there where I have like my roasting pans and extra storage. But I have all of these labeled. So this is nuts, cereal, breakfast, soups, pasta, beans, cookies, dinner, snacks, snacks, chips are down there. Steven loves the tortilla chip. We also have popcorn in there, bread and crackers. And then what is happening up here is I was using this to hold my potatoes. This big bowl is from McGee & Co. Um, not Studio McGee at Target, like their actual company. This I picked up at the dollar bin at Target. This has onions and garlic in it, and then this basket holds my bananas. But it's more than enough storage. It was also really, really convenient when putting groceries away. It was so simple. We're putting a bench right here so I can literally bring my groceries in and put them away. And then on this side, I just installed two wire baskets. Like I said, I was using this bowl for potatoes, but I really wanted them right here. I also love that they feel like decor, so I love that. I also have a vintage wall pocket here. There is the ceiling. I have to clean this because I've sanded so many things in this tiny space. And like I said, there's a six and a half foot shelf that runs here. I wanted it dark and moody to go with the rest of the house. Really, really happy with it. The color is from Sherwin-Williams. It's called Urbane Bronze. And I just went for it and painted the whole space. We're also going to be reframing out this door and it's going to stay one open pantry now. Oh, also, I built this shelf up and there's actually a light that's on a timer. So when the pantry light's not on, that shelf is still completely lit. I mean, it's a whole vibe, but what's beautiful now is it really feels like it goes with the rest of the house part of my mess because I have a lot of dark wood, black hardware. The entry is really dark. Our fireplace is really dark. It just feels like part of the home now. And I love as you pass through, there's the open shelving here that's beautiful. And then, you have the pantry. I'm so proud of this. So proud. Also, one thing I changed up here in the dining room, we got a Bubba's in his natural habitat. He was waiting for the mailman. Oh, yes. Who's was waiting for that mailman. Is he here? I ended up getting rid of the head chairs and just did six chairs down the sides of the table. I really like it. It makes it feel a little bit more open. And then also, Bubby's bench got replaced. So he got this beautiful bench with this like really cool ticking stripe running down it. Helps tie in the black from the bar, right? What do you think about all this? He's such a good boy. He's a good, he's an old boy, but he's a good boy. Yes. So that's what's happening right now. I mean, look at this. It's so good. I was just unpacking the mail. The baskets that I put in the pantry were in there, but I also got a bunch of sweatshirts from um, Self Care Is For Everyone. It's one of my favorite websites. So this one says, you are strong. Make yourself proud. Check in with your friends. You are more than enough. And then progress, not perfection. Those are really like my loungy sweatshirts around the house. And then lastly, what's going on is I made pizzas last night. So after, usually the next day after I've done my pizzas, I throw my baking stones in the um, oven. I scrape off any crust that might be on them and then wipe them with a light coat of olive oil and then throw them in the oven, let it preheat to 425 for about 30 minutes just to keep them well seasoned so nothing sticks to them. I always do that the day after. 
say that's part of making pizzas is the day after you make sure your stones are clean and seasoned yeah that's what's going on friends i am so excited to share the next thing i've actually been holding on to it since my birthday which was last week and i've been waiting to film today to share this with you all right so i have a mutual friend who linked me with one of her friends christopher allen a-l-a-n and I'm A-L-L-E-N, and he was nice enough to send me all of these things. I'm gonna leave his site linked below so you can check it out. But uh, our mutual friend has connected us, and I hope this is the start of a really great relationship. I love crafting, I love DIY, and so does he. But his company is called Brutus Monroe. Some of these things I've not opened, I'm so pumped. Let's dive in. So I got this trucker hat, and it says, create your own ending. And then this shirt, which I'm beyond excited about. It is a rainbow tie-dye shirt, and it says crafty and proud. How amazing is it? I am obsessed. I also got this ink pad in raven black. Really excited about that. Easy tear tissue tape. That's amazing. And then I love this little converse, especially now with our Madam Vice President. This little converse, definitely going on my keys. Then I got some washi tape scent. Then this little washi tape with the rainbow. So amazing. Hold on, let me set you down so I can keep unwrapping things. Then I got some handwritten stamps. Love these. So these are numbers and these are letters. They're beautiful. I love this like indigo tie-dye and then there's this other star. Then we got a pen. Wait. Oh wait, it's a detail grabber. Yes, because there they are. These are like little sequins. This is to grab them. This is so rad. Then I have a color your year calendar. That is really neat. And then there's this easy squeeze black glue. Like I said, Brutus Monroe is the company. I'm going to leave it linked down below. Please go support it. If you love crafting, if you love DIYs, I mean, this can't be beat. It is now going on three o'clock in the afternoon. I finished up the door. Looks so good matching the, um, whatchamacallit. Right now, I am getting ready to make some bread because tomorrow we're having stew. And I'm gonna show you my favorite no-need bread. So I have three cups of flour, two teaspoons of active yeast, one and a half teaspoons of salt. I wanted my water to get to 105 degrees. I'm gonna add my water. Anything hotter than 105, friends, can kill your yeast. And now I'm just using my favorite baking dough tool. It is this dough whisk. And I'm just going to have this pull together. Like look how nice that comes off this dough whisk. I'll leave this linked below as well. All right, I'm just gonna make sure that this is all in one nice little ball of dough. And now I'm gonna spread, um, spray a piece of plastic wrap with cooking spray. Tighten that over this and then put a dish towel that's a little damp over it and it's gonna sit for 24 hours. I have a damp dish towel and you want this to sit for 18 to 24 hours. So I'm just going to get this dish towel over it. And what's gonna happen is when we look at it tomorrow, it's going to be like bubbly and a little foamy. And then we are going to plop it basically into a Dutch oven that's preheated in the oven, and we'll have fresh bread to go with our beef stew for dinner tomorrow. I know that there'll be a lot of questions around my pantry and like where are my canned goods and all that. I cook a lot, and one of my goals in my pantry renovation was to get things a little closer to my oven that I use every day. I'm really fortunate to have so many counters and storage. I still have this whole built in. I have my buffet where all my serving ware goes. I have all of that, I have all of this in the island, huge cabinets over there, all of these. 
I mean, we're not hurting for storage. So I'll show you kind of how I set everything up. So this became my baking cabinet. I have my sweeteners on the bottom shelf. I have everything on turntables, like as far as baking mixes, extra overflow flour in there. Down here, I keep my stocks, uh, my vitamins are in that basket, and then all my oils and my vinegar, and then other cooking oils, once again, on one of these turntables so I can get to all of them. Protein powder, my favorite chopper on the planet, my air fryers down there. And then over here are kind of things that I grab for often. So I have all my canned goods right there, and then all my pastas and grains are organized in canisters with their names and then some overflow of things that are typically in the refrigerator. But like when I'm out of sriracha, this is where my extra one is, or Tabasco sauce, that kind of backup condiments and dressings. But that's really how I have everything stored. And then everything else is in the pantry. And my baskets are from Amazon. These cubes I bought at Target. This rug is from Target. These bronze baskets are from Amazon as well. I'll leave those linked for you. This mirror is a vintage mirror from a thrift store from the 20s, and I love it. And yeah, I still need to clean that light fixture. Tonight for dinner is gonna be really simple. We're gonna make some little mini turkey meatloafs. I make them in like the jumbo muffin tin and some mashed potatoes, and that's what we're gonna have for dinner. It's a great Monday. I am making our dinner. I have Bubba's who has joined me because I have carrots. Yes, you can have that one last bite. Um, I'm just grating three carrots. I keep my boost block, this cutting board, on my countertop at all times. I just drag it near the sink and wipe it off as needed. I think I'm only gonna need about two and a half carrots. Uh, yeah, that's more than enough. I never make my meatloaf in a loaf pan. I only ever do it in the jumbo size muffin tins. It's the only thing I use that muffin tin for. All right, so I have like two and a half carrots in there. I am going to add about a half a packet of seasoning mix. And now in my chopper, oh, Still a little wet. That's just once again proof that I am constantly using this thing. It, I mean, daily. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take some celery that I already have cleaned. I'm going to throw that in here. I also want to run to the pantry and grab mm, just one shallot. Stephen and I don't really do onions. We definitely like the milder flavor of a shallot over like a yellow onion. Like I said, this chopper, I have had mine for at least oh, 13 years, 12 years. I've never sharpened the blade. I throw it in the dishwasher as is. So I put everything in there and now I'm just gonna pull it. I usually give mine a good tap. Look at that. It's like perfectly chopped every single time. All right, I'm gonna add that. You guys give me a hard time because I never say it right. And I'm not gonna start now. So I'm just gonna put the bottle there. You can read what I'm adding. It's a common ingredient. I'm gonna add a couple splashes of that. For a little tang, I'm gonna add a dash of Tabasco sauce. I have two packages of turkey because I wanna be able to have these for lunch. So I'm gonna add two eggs. Normally, I just add an egg per, per how many packages I have. And now I'm going to add some panko breadcrumbs. Sometimes I'll use seasoned um, breadcrumbs, but since I had that meatloaf seasoning, I'm gonna use just plain breadcrumbs. The key is not to over mix this. All right, friends, I shaped them. They're in here. I'm going to throw them in a 375 oven, probably for 35, 45 minutes. Um, I'm just going to keep using my meat thermometer and wait till it hits 165. That's how I'll know when it's done. 
All right, friends, I think that is going to end day one of this vlogging week. I'm going to let those cook till they hit 165, make some mashed potatoes, and that's going to be dinner tonight. Super simple, super quick. That literally took minutes, but it also allows me to see how well the new kitchen is functioning, which is really nice. But before I go, I got to show you one thing. We have been feeding the deer any extra produce, and look, they've been coming every night. Let me see if I can zoom in, get a little closer to them. You can see all their little trails in the snow. All right, friends, we're gonna end it like this. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, bye-bye.